Hey, I'm Steven Sprinkle. This is Morning Bit. Let's get to it. Top three things I think are important today for Bitcoin. The first of which is that Italy has levied a 20% tax on incoming wire transfers to Italian citizens, essentially saying that you need to prove that you're not uh, using these funds for illicit activities. And why this is important for Bitcoin is basically for two reasons. The first of which is there's already an awareness of digital currency, specifically Bitcoin, in EU nations in that region, Italy, Greece, as well as Cyprus. Um, and so what you're potentially going to see is a driving towards the use of those digital currencies and an ultimate uptick in the overall value of Bitcoin. The second thing I think is important about this is it's potentially going to drive these regulatory bodies to have more stringent regulations and observation applied to the transactional activities that are going on with these digital currencies. And what I ultimately think is going to be kind of the end game of this tracking is that UN member nations are potentially going to start working together to create systems to uh, intimately track the transactional activity of digital currencies. That's just kind of my prediction, but that's kind of the logical progression that I see happening. As the as you lose, as these organizations lose power, they need to find ways to make sure that they're effectively tracking and maintaining their power. And so they're going to probably have to come together and start working together to uh, intimately track these details. And the second thing I think is important today for Bitcoin is Jackson Palmer, the founder of Dogecoin, has turned down investment from multiple VCs um, to help scale out and market his digital currency. And why I think this is important is something that I uh, and my partner have worked through is, as we've worked on starting our cryptocurrency focused company is that a lot of the venture capitalists really don't have the community in mind. Um, and, and it's an understandable perspective because they're looking to maximize profit whereas the community is looking to build something that's most appropriate and effective for the community. Um, and so that's been the bridge we've had to stand in. And it's awesome to see uh, a founder turning down investment to make sure that a coin's being built appropriately um, for what the community needs. And that's really what we're trying to do with our company. Um, we're, we're building a product that we can directly monetize so that we can continue to fund and build things that are very effective for the community. Um, so I, I think it's encouraging to see that awareness happening within the uh, individuals who are starting products in the cryptocurrency space. And I really hope to see it continue going forward and that there can be kind of a, a grassroots education for venture capitalists and other investors that really what needs to happen here is something that's most beneficial for the community, which will in the long term be most beneficial for everyone who's playing in the space. So it's really encouraging to see that. And the third thing that I think is important today for Bitcoin is a product called Predictious. And what's really cool about this product is it allows you to place bets on upcoming events in politics, economics, um, as well as sports and entertainment, and science and technology. And why specifically I think this product's really cool is because of the economic predictions that can happen in the in, uh, inside of the platform. And what's specifically important about this is because it potentially gives you an indicator of where the market's moving, um, at least where the where the uh, acceptance points are for the movements of the economy, uh, of the cryptocurrency economy. So it's a really cool platform. Check it out. I hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to comment, like, share. It helps a ton. Um, and I will see everybody tomorrow.